everyone, I'm Namrita Sawe. I'm consulting leader in strategy and analytics at Deloitte. First of all, a warm welcome to all of you for being part of Tech Geek Goddess, of one of the largest women coding contests. It is a great platform to kickstart the technology journey. I'm excited to be here today talking to all of you enthusiastic women coders on diversity in technology, specifically on my focus area, data and AI. As we all know, COVID-19 has accelerated companies' digital transformation like never before. Technology capabilities are steadily shifting to the cloud and outside the four walls of an organization. Be it healthcare, automobile, school, education, companies across industries are embracing new powerful technology like AI. So it's not surprising that new AI jobs like those of data scientists, AI engineers, business intelligence developers are all opening up. However, a 2020 World Economic Forum report found that women make only 26% of data and AI positions in the workforce. Another report from Stanford Institute for Human Center shows only 16% of tenure track women are focused on AI globally. We all know diversity is essential for progress of any technology as it fosters creativity, it helps in developing inclusive systems. Talking specifically about AI teams, the importance of diversity is connected to one of the biggest challenges facing AI today, biases within AI systems. So more diverse workforce is better tool to identify and remove AI biases as they interpret data, their solutions and make decisions. And it's very imperative that more women technology professionals join the AI revolution. At Deloitte, I have been leading a program to hire women in Deloitte data and AI teams, specifically the ones who are returning from maternity or taking a break, or those who have without any prior experience in AI and data. These programs are focused on cultivating a new breed of technology leaders who come from diverse, non-technical backgrounds and demonstrate critical thinking, problem solving and communication skills. The highlight of the programs have been to provide personalized learning journeys, refresher trainings, help the diverse new hires upskill on technology and enable them to work on AI and data projects. Along with recruitment and training programs, mentorship has been a key driver in shaping up a successful AI career journey. When I look back at my career, most of my successes could be traced back to a mentor. Finding a mentor is not a passive activity, and it definitely requires to reach out to individuals with whom one could relate to. Mentorship programs help to identify opportunities, set expectations, and overcome barriers in, in a career journey. In my experience, organization design programs can have their benefits. Informal and authentic mentorship can be even more influential and help make you have a successful job. There are quite a few challenges that women face while advancing in technology journey, especially in leadership roles. A study in 2016 revealed how women representation declined at successful levels in IT. From 27% of the entry-level workforce to 23% of mid-level managers, 18% senior level managers, and only 14% of executives. For me, it was indeed challenging time when I was returning back to work after my maternity break. The questions I had on mind were how I could get flexibility, work-life balance, more importantly, how I could get myself up to speed on the technology advances in the industry. But what worked for me, I got myself enrolled on mentorship programs, I got myself trained and certified, and, and it's very similar to as all of you are participating in this contest, I made best use of the caregiving and well-being programs that were available. The key leadership traits of empathy, communication, interpersonal skills, not shying away from asking questions are some of the differentiators that have helped me transition to more successful leadership roles. If I look back at my career journey from developer to leader on AI data, I have always been open to learn and embrace new technologies. I've invested time to build deeper understanding of clients' business problems and build meaningful relationships with peers and leaders. It was my pleasure indeed talking to all of you and sharing my views on how we can enhance diversity in technology. Hope this was helpful to you. 
congratulations to you and best wishes for the contest ahead.